Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be installing Kali Linux 2023.4 inside VirtualBox on a Windows 11 PC. Before we begin, let's take a look at the minimum requirements. You're going to want at least 2 gigs of RAM, 4 is recommended, 20 gigs of hard disk space, 1 CPU core, but 2 is recommended, the Kali Linux image, and VirtualBox and the extension pack. If you don't have VirtualBox installed, you can check out this video and I'll walk you through the steps. All tools and links will be in the description below. If you found this video useful, please give us a like. Now let's get to installing Kali Linux. So a new version of Kali Linux is out. I'm at the official URL, which is Kali.org. We're going to go into the installer images. We'll select that and we'll scroll down a little bit here. And you can see the latest version is 2023.4. We have the ISO image that we're going to be downloading. We're going to click on the link. It's 3.9 gigs in size. So you're aware of the size. Make sure you have enough disk space. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let that download right now. Uh, might take a few minutes for that to happen. I'll jump over to the next step. Okay, the download's completed. I'm going to go over into my downloads folder and we have it right over here. We need to know where it's downloaded because we're going to be pointing to it in just a moment. So I'm going to minimize this and going to minimize this. And now I'm going to go over into my Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager. Uh, if you don't have this installed, you can check out this video and I'll walk you through the steps of installing it. The first thing that we're going to do is click on the new button. Okay, so we're in expert mode. I'm gonna give it a name. I'm gonna call it Kali Linux. The folder it's gonna be stored in is right over here. This drive has enough space, so I'm not too worried about that. You wanna make sure that you are putting it in a folder that has enough disk space. Uh, the ISO image, this is where we have to point to where it is. I'm gonna select the other button and I'm in my downloads folder and here is the ISO image file. Go ahead and click on open. And that's it for this section. In the unattended installation, we're not gonna be doing anything in here. I'm going to go over to hardware. You want to make sure you have at least two gigs of RAM. I'm going to move mine up to four. It runs a lot smoother when you have more RAM in it. So four gigs is good. And you want to have at least one CPU core. I like to max out the green area. Uh, this I'm going to leave up to you. Just uh, make sure you have at least one CPU core allocated. And then for a hard disk down here at the bottom, you need at least 20 gigs. 25 is fine. We'll leave that the way it is. And then we can go ahead and click on finish. Okay, so we have it listed over here on the left hand side. We can go ahead and click on the start button and it's going to boot up the operating system. So now there's going to be a few setup questions based on the location that we're in. I'll be leaving the language as English. In the location, I'll leave it as United States. And the keyboard configuration will be American English. And it's going to go ahead and install some components. Okay. For configure the network, it's going to leave the host name as Kali Linux. That's fine by me. And then the domain will leave blank. And we're going to be configuring our user. You can put in whatever name you want here. I'm going to be putting in Kali. Uh, Kali will also be my username. And then we can type in a password. Okay, got my password in. I can click on continue. Uh, the time zone, you'll be selecting your own time zone. I'm going to leave this as Eastern. And now we're going to be using guided use the entire disk and then select continue. Uh, we'll leave the SCSI option selected and we're going to be having all files in one partition. Uh, we're all done. We can select the option that says finish partitioning and write changes to disk. And where it's asking to write changes, we can select yes and then continue. This part of the installation might take a few minutes. I'll jump over to the next step. We're going to be leaving the default tools and environment as is. And now we have the option to install the Grub bootloader into the primary drive. We'll just click on continue. All right, so we want to select the drive that we have here, which is the virtual drive, and then you can click on continue. Okay, the installation is now complete. We can click on continue, and it's going to go ahead and finish up the installation and reboot the virtual machine. Okay, we're at the login screen. Go ahead and enter in my username and password. And it's just logging me into the desktop. And there we go. I can go ahead and full screen this right now. And uh, you can still see we have a border over here, but if you go up into the view menu and you go into full screen mode and then switch, this will take over your entire desktop. And now you can use the operating system as if it's native to your system. And that's how you do it. That's how you install Kali Linux version 2023.4 inside VirtualBox on a Windows 11 PC. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please smash that like button. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one.